In this video, we are going to guide you through manually installing Fusion Reactor. We are going to be using Windows Server 2016 with a Tomcat 9 application server. We will be installing both the FusionReactor.jar and the Fusion Reactor Debug Library, which is used for our production debugger. Please note, you are only required to download the debug libraries if you are manually installing for Fusion Reactor Ultimate, Developer or Trial Editions. At this stage, we've got our Tomcat application server installed and we are running a sample application. We have just generated a trial key from the download page of the Fusion Reactor website. You will need to download both the FusionReactor.jar and the debug libraries from the Java Agent Manual Installation tab. As I am on Windows, I will require the FusionReactor.jar and the frjvmti-x64.dll file. This is located within the debug libs.zip. We are going to use the manual installation guide on the Fusion Reactor website to help us. We first need to create a directory for Fusion Reactor. I'm going to create this in the root directory. In my case, this will be the C drive. Within this directory, I need to create a directory called instance. Within this directory, I then need to create a directory for my Tomcat 9 instance. As I am logged in as an administrator, I have sufficient permissions to read and write this directory. Fusion Reactor requires read and write permissions on this directory, so if you don't have those permissions, you should change them now. Once my Tomcat instance directory is created, I need to copy the fusionreactor.jar and .dll files downloaded earlier into this location. We now have our instance directory configured and can configure the JVM arguments. Within the Tomcat bin directory, we need to run the Tomcat W executable file and navigate to the Java tab. Using the manual installation guide, we will need to add our Java agent and agent path arguments. Note the agent path argument is only required if you are installing the debug library. We are now going to copy the arguments from the guide and edit the instance name to match our directory name. In our case, we will change this to Tomcat 9. We now need to apply these settings and restart our Tomcat application server. Now our Tomcat server has started, we can go to a new browser tab and navigate to localhost 8088. This is the port we specified in our Java args. We now need to set the admin password for our Fusion Reactor user. Once this is done, we can copy and paste the license key from the Fusion Reactor download page and click apply. In the Fusion Reactor client, we can now navigate to our request history. We can see that our application server is being monitored by Fusion Reactor. Thank you for watching. If you have followed this guide and are experiencing difficulties, please contact support at fusionreactor.com or alternatively sales at fusionreactor.com.